So I added a couple little things to this. Um, the hide here and here is pretty wide open. Um, so I added some plants in there. I added some plants up here and here and down here. That way, no matter where she goes in the enclosure, uh, she's going to have at least some cover. So she'll feel comfortable no matter where she's at. Um, I added a heat panel down here because with winter, uh, with winter coming in, it gets a little chilly towards the bottom. So the heat panel keeps this area down here around 81 to 82 during the day. This is about 83 to 84 during the day. This is about 85 and this is about 88. And then down here is usually about 77 to 78 during the day. Uh, there's a hide, uh, like a level right here that's about 80, 81, and this is about 90. So she's got a lot of different micro environments she can go into. Uh, nighttime, uh, it's been dropping down to like 72 down here. So adding the heat panel keeps it uh, between 76 and 77 uh, at nighttime down there and about 79 to 80 right there and then she's got about 83 again up there so um, there's a wide range of temperatures throughout the enclosure and she can find whatever little micro environment she wants um, the guy that did the enclosure is coming to install the anaconda enclosure sometime in the next three to four weeks and we're going to do some work on the pond uh, I'm going to get the mist system put in here soon, uh, so it'll be a lot easier to keep the humidity throughout uh, where it needs to be. Um, it's not too difficult now, but it'll just save a lot of time uh, for me keeping the upper area around 70 to 75 and the lower and mid areas around 80. Um, so besides adding the plants, I mean, there's really not a whole lot more that I want to do in here, but when the Annie enclosure comes, uh, I want it to be filled with plants because it is a lot bigger uh, than she needs right now. So I want a lot of, uh, I want a lot of plant cover in there. So I'm going to be going online and buying a bunch of stuff. Uh, can't wait for you guys to see uh, that enclosure. Uh, I don't want to give too much away, but it's amazing. It's a lot, a lot bigger than this. It's got a huge filtered heated pond and you guys are gonna go nuts when you see how amazing it looks um, so if you guys like what you see uh, like comment subscribe share all that good stuff and if you have any questions feel free to ask if you guys a quick shot of down here hide and there's another hide down there Alright guys, have a great night. Thanks.